Hi guys, welcome back to another Big Wrench Tech. Today we actually have Basket Case Betty in the Media Blaster today. We were actually wondering if this thing was actually going to fit in here, but lo and behold, you see it. There it is. So anyways, long story short, so I've been a lot of work on this thing, taking the shovel head off, taking the four-speed kick electric off. That was a lot of fun. This ain't my first rodeo doing this, but man, am I rusty. I, it's been a long time since I restored a bike, probably about eight years ago. And again, um, it was a lot of fun, but it was a lot of work. But in the end, I've learned it doesn't take as long as cars, obviously, because it is smaller. But as long as you stay on top of it, stay consistent, uh, when you get frustrated take a break walk away get your glass of water just chill out and man there goes my air compressor anyways but yeah uh don't stop on them the worst thing you can do is stop on a project trust me but but anyways let me get you turned around as you can see there it is boy my screens do not look the greatest at all but oh this one's got a crack in it. I am Captain Obvious today. So it's going to get loud. I'm going to get to this, and we'll see you back at the finished products. All right. Okay, good stuff. Let's see how well this thing works. It's doing the thing. It's doing what sandblasters do. So this shouldn't take too long. Now I was debating on powder coating this or just regular frame paint or something. But at this point, I, I really don't know. It's kind of, lack of better words, up in the air whether I can find somebody in the Lakeland area that does it relatively inexpensive because this is a this is going to be a budget budget bike build uh, not a full restoration but make it rideable but it's going to look good we got some uh, we actually got some uh, derby covers and stuff like that coming for it I just got done wrinkle finishing the actual primary cover and that, that came out very, very good. I was very pleased with that. So, but you'll see that here in just a little bit. Yeah. So a hundred more years of this and we'll get it. Be back in a little bit. Uh, okay, it's extremely loud, but I want us to have a look-see. See how it's coming out. Okay. That's feeling really well. I'm happy with that. Definitely. Whoa, so much more to go. But so close. That uh, Harley Davidson wax can look really, really good on that, but it's it's going to be a base coat clear. I'm not going back with the single stage. I'm definitely going to go back with the base coat clear. Well, let's be honest. The tank is going to be black. And the frame is black. And everything's black and chrome, so your typical Harley. All right. More to come. Okay, one last look, and then I got to head back to the shop because I guess uh, this thing is running out of glass feet. But anyways, so I always have one. Almost done. And then I gotta do the bottom. And of course, the underside. So far, it's coming. It's coming out. Okay. It's okay. Uh, can't wait to knock the old crap off this. See actually what it's really gonna look like. But anyways, back to the shop, and I'll show you guys that wrinkle finish. Yes. So guys, we're back at the other shop to see how the 
the rattle can uh, VHT something rather wrinkle finish paint actually worked and you know what I'm okay with it I'm I'm completely all right with that yeah definitely so anyways yes so let me get you to turn back around but I think that's what's gonna do it for today guys it's Monday I'm tired you're tired we're all tired and we get to do it again tomorrow yay no but seriously I love my job uh, I can't say enough good things about it so this place is amazing where I work and they you know they support things I do and as much as I support them great organization but anyways, about that, guys. Again, we'll see you on the next one. And also, don't be afraid to throw a wrench at it. Figuratively, not literally. But yes, don't be afraid to throw a wrench at it. And don't be afraid to actually throw some rattle can at it. Make sure you got a good clean surface, though. But again, thanks for watching.